Hi everyone, my name is Arhelia, and today I have a yummy yin yoga practice for you that's all about letting go. In traditional Chinese medicine, autumn is a time of letting go. And as we begin to transition into fall here in the United States, I thought what a more suitable practice than to practice letting go of any stress, any tension, any fears, feelings that you may be holding on to that no longer serve you. Making room for a new cycle, maybe better things coming your way. You'll need a couple blocks and blankets for today's practice. With that said, let's get started. We're going to begin today's practice with alternate nostril breathing. So go ahead and bring your index finger and your middle finger to your forehead. And then we are going to use our middle finger and our thumb to alternate plugging one nostril. So it's gonna look like this. And then you're going to plug the left, inhale through the right, Plug the right, exhale through the left, inhale through the left, plug the left, exhale through the right, inhale through the right, exhale through the left, inhale, exhale through the right, Inhale through the right. Exhale on the left. Continue doing this at your own pace for five more rounds. When you are done, go ahead and bring your palms to your knees and flutter your eyes open. And let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start today with melting heart. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. You'll want to grab one of your blankets and then we are going to roll it up And we can place this underneath the ankles, just like so. And then once you are here, go ahead and grab a block and another blanket. We are going to support the chest. You wanna place the block a few inches away from your knees. You might need to readjust once you actually lower yourself. If you need the support to be a little bit higher, you can always use a second block. But once you are here, let's go ahead and come into a tabletop position. Then we're slowly gonna crawl our fingertips forward, bringing our chest to the blanket and our forehead to the earth, or you can use another um, rolled blanket um, to support the forehead. So let's crawl. Pushing the hips back and up while using the breath to maybe crawl the fingertips a little bit further up, really lengthening through the spine and the shoulders down into the fingertips.
beginning to fully surrender into the pose, into the mat, and into this practice, knowing that you are fully supported and that you are safe. To release, slowly begin crawling the fingertips back towards the center of your mat, slowly pressing yourself up, and then coming into a tabletop position. Staying here for one full breath. So next we are going to come into child's pose with a twist. You'll want to remove the blanket underneath your ankles, but we are going to reuse it. I'm going to just fluff it up a little bit. Set it off to the side for now. Let's shift our block and blanket horizontally and a little bit closer. We're going to be using it to support the forehead this time. You can widen your knees here as wide as you'd like, and then we're gonna grab our rolled blanket and place it under the hips. From here, we're going to extend the left arm, bring the right arm under the left, and drive the left arm up and the right arm towards the opposite side of the wall and come onto your cheek or your forehead whatever feels most comfortable and if this is too much you always have the option of crawling the left arm a little bit closer to the body Beginning to feel a gentle opening in the shoulders, down the spine and into the lower back.
to release, slowly begin crawling the left fingertips back towards the body and then gently pressing yourself back up. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. This time we're bringing the left arm under the right, deriving the shoulder all the way through as far as feels comfortable. Gently closing the eyes, dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Allowing your breath to slowly push you a little bit deeper into the stretch. To release, slowly begin crawling the fingertips back towards the body and then rolling yourself up one vertebrae at a time. We're going to go ahead and remove our props and come onto our belly. So let's go ahead and come onto our belly. And then we're gonna bring our forehead to the mat, bringing the left arm up about 90 degrees, slightly above the shoulder, and then using the right hand to help you press over into that left shoulder. Now this is a very intense chest and shoulder opener. You might not need to roll over very much before you begin feeling a stretch. Begin pressing into that right hand rolling yourself over, bending the knees as much or as little as feels good, and then slowly coming into your breath. To release, slowly begin straightening out the legs and then rolling yourself back onto your belly. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, bringing that right arm about 90 degrees slightly above the shoulder 
and then pressing ourselves over using the left hand. to release, slowly straighten out the leg, then roll yourself back onto your belly. We're going to bring our hands right up to the outside of our shoulders, feet are firmly pressed into the earth. On your next inhale, lift your gaze, keeping the arms tucked in, elbows pointed back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You can bring your arms down at your sides. Turn your cheek over to one side. And we're going to flip over onto our back for a nice yummy side stretch. So pressing your hands into the earth, press yourself up and then come onto your back. Bringing your feet together, we're going to come into Bananasana. Try saying that three times. So we're going to stretch out the legs, bringing the arms over the head, stretching and reaching as far as you can. Bring the left foot to the left edge of your mat, crossing the right over the left, if that feels good. And then with both hands touching, reaching over to the left side as well, feeling a gentle stretch in the side body. release, uncross the ankles, bring the arms back to center, followed by the legs, and then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So this time right foot to the right edge of your mat, cross the left, 
and then reach over. This side might look a little bit different. That's okay. If you need to straighten yourself out a little bit more, remember this is your practice. You decide where your edge is. And then we use our breath to slowly help us push a little bit deeper into the stretch. To release, uncross the ankles, bring the arms back to center, followed by the legs. Then you can bring your arms back down at your sides, and we're going to roll over onto either side, bending the knees, and then pressing ourselves up into a seated position. Next, we're gonna come into supported fish and you'll need two blocks and a blanket for this pose. For supported fish, you wanna place one block horizontally at the top of your mat that's going to support the head. The second block is going to be placed vertically and that is going to support the mid upper back. So right about here, for women, it would be where your bra straps in. And you can use a blanket if you'd like on that middle block just to make things a little bit more comfortable. Then we'll bring our hips to the edge of that lower block. Slowly using your arms to lower yourself. You might need to take a second here to adjust yourself. Once you have found a comfortable positioning, dropping the shoulders away from the ears,
supported fish is an excellent chest opener and a perfect way to end our practice a final reminder to let go of anything that no longer serves us slowly bringing your awareness back into your body and into the room wiggling the toes and the fingertips when you are ready bend the knees and slowly begin rolling yourself over onto either side staying here for a breath And then using your arm to help you press up. We're going to end today's practice with starfish shavasana. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my props. And we're going to come onto our back. here, bringing the legs out wide, arms out wide, closing the eyes, completely melting into the mat. Breathing in love, gratitude, and peace. Breathing out worry, fear, and stress. Accepting that what you want may not be what you need, but trusting that what is meant for you will always be. Let's take a big inhale. Open mouth, sigh. Let it all go. Bringing your thumbs together to the space in between the eyes. Gently whispering, Namaste. Reaching your arms over the head. And when you are ready, bringing them down to your side and rolling over into a fetal position. Pressing ourselves back up. Coming into a seated position.
thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that fall continues to be an opportunity to let go and that come winter season, your heart, your mind, your soul are ready for all the beautiful and wonderful things that life has coming your way. Have a beautiful day and see you next time. Bye.